Lovely guitars, Valentina. Oh, thank you. <laughs> 42. Hey! Stay bene. Eh? Gesù. Forse ho fatto del male a qualcuno. This is uh, truly um, an horror movie, but at its core is also a, a love story. Uh, your character wants to sacrifice himself for uh, a child. So do you think that uh, um, love, that being uh, ready to offer themselves for others, it's really more powerful than any demon? Yes, I do think it is very powerful and I, I would think it's more powerful than demons because unfortunately I don't really believe in demons I'm very cynical and scientific and boring <laughs> uh, so I would say self-sacrifice is definitely more powerful because it exists but maybe things that don't exist still have power because anyway we're going down a whole a little uh hold sack but um yeah although self-sacrifice can also be bad and unnecessary as well so mm -hmm. it's a complicated question. <laughs> yeah. Uh, John Noble character says that uh, uh, for Satanist, uh, why is irrelevant? So I'm asking you, uh, do you believe that when we stop asking ourselves why we are doing something, then bad things happen? Yeah, I think that's a really good way of putting it because I think... <laughs> Um, the only thing that can make good people do bad things is dogma, you know, mm -hmm. whatever it's unquestioning. We do this because we do it. So yeah, as long as you're always being scientific and cynical and boring like me and saying, why are we, <laughs> then you probably won't do too many bad things, but you also probably won't get many things done because it's a, uh, it's a very slow and labored process. Um, but yeah, I think we got to ask why more often. Why do we do things? Um, mm -hmm. In what arena? I don't know. All arenas, I guess. Thanks to this movie, now you have seen really weird stuff and you know all the tricks and the secrets behind those scenes. Yeah. So what scares you now when you watch uh, a movie? So, um, yeah, you see all the tricks behind the scenes, what they do, what they make the blood out of, how they spray down. <laughs> people and put veins with just paint and everything it's incredible what they do the makeup team are so brilliant in this um but i wasn't scared of horror films for about five years before or maybe more because I, I watched a lot of horror films when i was a kid um very scared got scarred by them probably probably made into a strange person and now <laughs> i don't really get scared unless it's very psychological like i watched funny mm -hmm. game the other day and that's scary in a different way you know but um that's why when I watched this film with my girlfriend, uh, I was she doesn't watch horror films at all. I had to, <laughs> so I'd, I'd be like peeling her hands away from her eyes and, and opening her eyelids so that she had to watch because I wanted to see how scared she got and she got so scared. And that made me very happy, even though it's quite sadistic. <laughs> I was uh, happy. I, I can't wait to go to a cinema and see other people hopefully screaming because it's so visceral. It's like if you're a comedian, people laugh at your joke or they don't and you know that you did it right and if people are screaming at this or gasping or whatever they are um that'll be very very exciting really really exciting so now she will have nightmares thanks to you so good job good work I've nightmares and headaches before so yeah thank you so much thank you thank so much. you